Hello. Welcome to the weekly wind up with myself, Emma Kirk. The topic of mental health is receiving support and men in particular are being encouraged to open up and are being reassured that actually it's okay to talk. One of the charities at the forefront of this movement is Andy's Man Club and it was founded by a local rugby player called Luke Ambler after the tragic loss of his brother-in-law. Today I'm joined by Robert Thewlis who heads up the Huddersfield area of this charity and is the main coordinator of events held locally. Welcome to the show Robert. Thank you. Is it Robert or Rob? Either. Okay. <laughs> Robert on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the charity, what exactly does it do? Okay, uh, Andy's Man Club in a nutshell is a, an environment for men to come and talk. It's non-judgmental, mm -hmm. anything that's said in the room stays in the room so it's totally confidential. Mm -hmm. um, it initially started off as a suicide prevention group for men but me personally now sees, see it as more, of that, more than that. Okay. Um, you don't have had to have suffer, suffered with suicidal thoughts, depression, anxiety, you could just literally come and want to talk about absolutely anything. Okay. So is it it's actually a group where the oh. men get together and they meet on a weekly basis? Yep. So we meet every Monday. Okay. Every club up and down the country meets on exactly the same day at the same time mm -hmm. and we work exactly the same way. Uh, we meet, we have a coffee beforehand mm -hmm. um, and then we move through to another room where this question set and literally it's your t time to talk you can talk as much as you want as little as you want I've had people come that don't even talk at all they're just there to listen um, okay. and get more out of just listening than actually talking if mm -hmm. that makes sense mm -hmm. um, so yeah it's it's good <laughs> how did you become involved um, so I started off as a member uh, in the Halifax group, so the Halifax group was the first group that started. That's where Luke's from, isn't it? Yeah, so Luke's uh, originally from Ovenden, mm -hmm. uh, at top of Halifax. So I went over there in October last year, uh, following uh, the death of my mum. Okay. Uh, so she passed away in April last year, and I was one of these people that think thought that I could handle it. Yeah. And I was tough and strong, and yeah. nothing would defeat me. But as the months rolled on then I started going into a massive downward spiral. Okay. Uh, so a friend of mine uh, recommended Andy's Man Club mm -hmm. and it took me about three months to get there because mm -hmm. I was one of these that was, I don't need that, yeah. I'll be fine. Yeah. But literally my first session uh, back in October mm -hmm. didn't say a word at all. Um, and I revealed my story on the Facebook page. So every group has a closed Facebook page, which okay. is just for members. So I basically told everyone on there um, and then we, as the weeks rolled by revealed a little bit more and a yeah. little bit more um, and then eventually took over got asked to take over Huddersfield uh, back in summer um, and that's it mm. and it's going from strength to strength we're getting uh, more guys through every week um, more guys returning mm -hmm. um, and it's it's not it's more of a brotherhood it's more of a family atmosphere now yeah. So it's more of a family coming together on a weekly basis mm -hmm. and just having a, na a good old chat. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do when I took over uh, Huddersfield was to stay, of, uh, stay open over the Christmas period. Yes. Um, yes. Because we don't generally open on bank holidays. Mm -hmm. um, so I've put, I put motions into place for us to stay open over Christmas. Mm -hmm did mean that we obviously had to change the dates because Christmas f fell on, on, a a <laughs> on a Monday and New Year fell on a Monday. Yeah. Um, so we open, we're, we're opening on the Wednesdays um, just to get people coming in and yeah. not feeling that alone over the three week period. That Christmas can be a difficult time, can't it? Awful time. <laughs> but research wise, in actual fact, January can be worse. Yeah. So do you find that in, in your, you know, your groups that January you get more people coming yes yeah it, as simple as it sounds yes okay. um, so in order for us to, to obviously help with that the first week of January we've got an event and okay. um, so my my little baby as I call it is uh, the park run so oh, the yeah. uh -huh. 5k uh, free runs that happen every up and down the country every week um, and yeah. we're doing we do a park run takeover Mm -hmm. So we did Huddersfield in September, just gone, where we had 600 people run. It turned out to be one of the biggest park runs 
mm -hmm. uh, for Huddersfield. 65 volunteers. Mm -hmm. I was having people turn up on the day saying, can, you can I volunteer? And I'm like, I've got nowhere to put you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we had the most volunteers, so we decided to take it on tour because pr it proved so popular. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going across to Halifax, um, the home of Andy's Man Club. Um, and then later on in the year, we're going to take it over to Alden because uh, we've got two clubs over there to try and get more interaction. What other kind of events do you, do you have as a, as a charity? Um, events for members wise we've yeah. just recently launched um, socials okay. so because one of the um, one of the main topics that came up during the sessions is that people feel isolated yes. especially during the winter months yeah. it's dark when you leave to go to work it's dark when you come home mm -hmm. 90% of the people that come to group may not have someone to go home to, yep. so they're basically alone from the minute they leave work to when they go to work the next day. So we decided to launch social events, mm -hmm. um, try and making it as cheap as possible, mm -hmm. uh, so those that are on a lower income can obviously attend as well. Uh, so at the moment, we've just done bowling. Mm -hmm. um, eight guys turned up, so that was half of our member base turned up, okay. and had a whale of a time. Yeah. Um, the way I think, and I said it to my group a couple of weeks ago, six months ago before Huddersfield launched, we could have walked past each other in the street mm. and not said a word to anyone, yeah. uh, to a, not said a word to each other, but now we're all on social media, yeah. <laughs> we're chatting on a daily basis, and like I said, it's more of a family than... It's a support network that you wouldn't yeah. have had as well, isn't yeah. it? So if I want to, to contribute or to, to, to help Andy's Man Club, how can, how can I get involved? Um, if you want to do your own event, mm -hmm. which you're more than welcome to do, you contact the, uh, the main Andy's Man Club. Yep. Uh, so you can get them on social media, mm -hmm. uh, email. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want him to uh, help out at one of the events that have already been organised, so mm -hmm. for a Huddersfield event, for example, We've got our own Facebook page, okay. like the majority of the other groups. Uh, contact us directly. If you want into fundraise, uh, we've got crowdfunding, mm -hmm. uh, on obviously online. If you want to make a one-off donation, you can do that because we've got bank details. Mm -hmm. There's loads of way, loads of ways, uh, merchandise. So as you can see, and this Man Club <laughs> hoodies. Well advertised, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, merchandise. So we've got a company that provide uh, that basically do all our merchandise. Yeah. Uh, the base locally. Yeah. Quite a lot of what. So you pay a certain price for it, and quite a lot of it comes to us because yeah. obviously they have to take their own out and uh, their costs out. There's loads of so ways. Multiple ways. Yeah. Multiple ways. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. I think your story individually is inspirational, but Andy's Man Club is something that definitely I can see going from strength to strength. Yeah. Thank you for, for watching today. If you wish to contact us about this or any other matter, please do so by the usual means. I'm Emma Kirk. Goodbye for now.